Hi, Dr. Paul Hader here. Are we out there searching for love? Or are we being the love that everybody is searching for? And it's interesting that most people are out searching for love and looking for the love and when in fact that love resides in their own heart. And are we doing the loving thing? You know, one time in my life, I worked at the university, a university, and uh, I was enjoyed my boss. He was a great guy. He made me laugh every day. And all of a sudden, there was an opportunity that came up, and uh, the head of the department asked me if I wanted to take over his, the uh, my boss's position. And I said, "Is he retiring?" He said, no, we're going to let him go. And everybody around me, even my wife, said, oh, this is a great opportunity. You make more money and you have more prestige and all this different stuff. And I said to myself, no, I can't do that. My boss has been great to me. How can I do this? And a feeling of a love for a man who would given me an opportunity and always made me laugh every day was there and I said no and people just did not understand at all and 30 some years later I would still do the same thing again no matter what now I think it's about doing what's right and what you know is the loving thing in our hearts to do no matter what and everything would have been different if I had made a different choice at that time and we have to make those tough decisions not based on monetary means or uh, material means or anything else it's about what we know is love and truth and light within ourselves and that's not an easy thing to do because we have to listen to that still small voice inside even when other people were saying what are you doing this this is craziness and a lot of times all that other static around us all those people saying you know this is crazy why are you doing this you know you could be doing better and overtakes us and in the end you know 30, 40 years later, we can have a hard time looking ourselves in the mirror. That still, small voice is the God voice. That still, small voice is the voice of the, the one within the one. And we have all had that same experience. It's not to say that it's good or bad or anything, but... It's important that we listen to that voice and allow ourselves to grow from that point on. We, we can make choices and sometimes they don't work out. But if we listen to the still small voice, we grow as people. And life is full of adventures and uh, divinity puts hard choices in our path. And we, divinity wants to know how we will choose how we will deal with these particular hardships in order to grow as people and how are we going to react and it's very difficult sometimes but every time we choose no matter how we choose we grow and we become different people because we learn something at that particular time so we're all going through these lessons and I find the more spiritual a person is, the more involved in their own growth that they are, actually the harder it gets. <laughs> you think it would get easier, you know. It's not true. Actually, it gets harder. And because you have more growth happening and you look inside more, there's more introspection as you become spiritual. And when you're doing meditation and you're doing your yoga, qigong, tai chi, 
gives you the moments of stillness so that you can listen to that still small voice. And so the introspection comes and it makes it harder. It's not to say that to be spiritual is a bad thing at all. It is a wonderful thing and it's worth it every second of it. But allow yourself to know it doesn't get easier. It gets harder. And it's important that it gets harder because you're growing as a person. Now allow yourself to see the joy that comes from the inside out as you grow as a person. And that's what grows. It's not all the material things that grow. You could take everything I own <laughs> and what is precious to me and put it in a small little suitcase and that would be it. So allow yourself to grow as a person, to grow as a spiritual being, to grow to give love instead of seeking love. Have a wonderful day. I love you.